What is going on guys? Scott here from Horizon Bound. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, I'm gonna be working on the truck some more. Uh, I've been doing a lot of mods to it, a lot of upgrades. Finally got a lift on onto this bad boy. Got some Kings, got some Method 702s, got that bead grip technology, got some KO2s on here, some Camberg UCAs. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, so today, I'm gonna be installing the Expedition Essentials 3T PAM, or essentially the third gen Tacoma power accessory mount module, whatever the M stands for. Um, but that bad boy essentially will be going right there. Sits right up here and you're able to hook up your phone, uh, your GoPro, any you know Garmin devices, uh, pretty much whatever you want and it has a power uh, outlet in the center so you know let's just say you're doing some GoPro you want to mount your GoPro you know right in this area um, you know you're able to just plug it in keep it keep it charged and get some really cool long time lapses or you know whatever um, same thing with the phone you know obviously there's plenty of ports in in this truck um, you know you got your wireless charging down there. I don't know, I just, I like having my phone sitting right here up on the dashboard. I know this is, you know, a, a Tacoma, it's a, a Tacoma mod, but you can essentially do this with any uh, any vehicle. Um, I believe they make them for the Ford, the Dodge, Chevys, uh, you know, all those, all those other trucks out there. But yeah, so let's go ahead and, and get right to it. So before we can do any you know, unmounting, taking apart, you know, popping off the bezel, the, the head units and all that stuff. We're gonna first wanna take our metal piece and if you notice, it sits right in there. You're just gonna line it up like so and it'll fit nice and snug. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Sharpie, make our little And as you can see, there's a little cutout right there. We're just gonna, might as well do that right now. There. All right, so now we can take this off. Move this out of the way. And we got our beautiful marked sections. So I went ahead and put up my, my sunshade to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see what's going on so it's not so bright. Uh, but the next thing we're gonna wanna do is pop off this bezel. And like a lot of Toyota stuff, it comes off easy. Just don't wanna break anything. A little tug right there, a little tug right there, and that thing comes off super simple. Now if you look, there's bolts in each one of these corners. So first, we're gonna go ahead and take off the bottom two. Like so. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna Pull this guy out just a little bit so it's just resting. So next thing we want to do is we want to take off the lower panel, this little area right there, so that we can get to the back of this guy. If you're wearing watches or anything, you probably want to take them off. To take this off, we're going to need to uh, unscrew this bolt right there. Go ahead and unscrew you. Cut. Put you right there. Now with that off, we can go ahead and pull this back just a little bit, and it'll just pop right out. see easy breezy 
So now we got this pulled out of the way. We're going to reach back here and pop this off. So next part. Like so making sure the head unit is okay up there. We will let this hang right there. All right. Now that we got that off, we gotta reach back here and get the plug that's going into there. So we gotta be super careful. It will come off just like so. We wanna make sure when we put it back together, it's this way, not this way, not that way. It'll slide right on in like that. We wanna make sure we don't pull too hard because we don't want to disconnect anything. But if you can see, there are two wires back there. There's a purple and a white. The purple is the hot and the white is the, the negative. Purple positive, white negative. We are going to be taking this guy right here and feeding it down through here so that this can go right into that. So let's go ahead and pull this out just a little bit. So you're gonna wanna make sure that these are on the left side. This guy is on the left side. And these guys will be going right down into there. So to make this easier, I'm gonna go ahead and unmount this to kind of get the, the, the wiring out of the way. There we go. All right, now that that's out of the way, makes it a little bit easier to get to this wiring. So, we still don't have that much play. So I'm gonna try my best to get this all on camera. And as you can see with these guys, they unscrew, you got a red end that is hollow, and then the black, or I guess negative, which unscrews, and you can see there's a little slot right there. You got your, your slot that is gonna go between, and be careful not to drop it. So you'll put your purple, through there and then with the other end you can see there's like a little point and that is going to screw right on into that right on in bada bing bada boom easy breezy and you're gonna do the same with the white all right so now that you got that on the purple I had to take a little break because uh, I noticed that I had two red ones I noticed that I had two of the red ones and I thought oh maybe you know one's supposed to be black one's supposed to be red um, but it doesn't really matter um, they're all the same because they both have the slots and they're both going to get tapped into. So now that we've got the purple, let's go ahead and hook this up to the white, doing the same process. Again, a little hard to show you, uh, but screw it right on in. Boom. All right. So. Let's go ahead and strip off a little bit of red. So we got the black or the red off. Let's go ahead and do the same 
with the black. All right. We've got our black. We've got our red. The way that this is gonna work is these red ends on the other side. We'll go ahead and take those off and be sure not to drop them. As you can see, these ones are hollow. We're going to take our wires and we will slip them right over like so. And making sure we line up the red to the purple, we are going to screw these on until it's nice and tight. And you're gonna do the same with black. Slide the top over it. Grab the white and sticking it right in there. You are going to screw it together. <clears throat> but there you go. That is in. Those are tapped in. How that goes in just like that black to white, purple to red. And now we plug it back in with it facing this way. Okay, I think I'm on. And be sure to use the plastic. Don't, don't push in with the wires. Okay, I believe that is good. All right, so now that we've got that hooked back together, I'm gonna do a little test and just make sure everything's going good. So let's plug this back in, this back in, and this guy back in. All right, so now you can see we've got power on the screen. Let's go ahead and do a one, two. All right, so now we got power. So let's go ahead and just plug these guys in and kind of see. I got red to red. Black to black. And if we take a look, it's going to set you right there. All right, so plugging that in. All right, so we are charging. Let's see if I can focus on that. Now that you guys saw that I've got power, you can see that the cable's just sitting right in there. It's all plugged in. We are now going to put our lower unit back together. So I need two hands for this. We'll make sure that we move that out of the way and just start popping in the tabs. Lift up that, make sure we've got our cable up here and out of the way. This part always worries me. Okay. Cool. And now we'll put this back in to place. So, all right, now to install our brackets back here. In the box, you'll see there are two 
of these brackets, nice and light. You got one that's longer, one that's short, and then you've got these two right here, which go on top. So we'll put these to the side. But for these guys, this guy, the long one will go over here and the short one will go right there. So let's go ahead and put those together. We'll take our bottom two, stick it. Now, the rest all needs to be done to our panel. So I've already notched out where they're gonna go. But looking at it, I see that it didn't really get a good job of the spot right there. So I need to kind of clean that up, but we'll do that inside. All right, the next thing I gotta do is fix the notch that I didn't quite get all the way. So putting the metal back on it, let's go ahead and just notch that out. So now that we've got that, we need to drill our holes through each one of these as well as dremel out that bad boy so that it lines up perfectly with that. So let's get our drill. I recommend you putting it on the styrofoam that your stuff came in so you don't scratch any of this stuff because this is super, super delicate. Let's go ahead and drill that out. Now, you're supposed to use a quarter uh, because you need these holes to be pretty big um, to get through all of this. But I'm gonna start off with a pilot hole. So let's start off with uh, one eight. There we go. A little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. All right. So one down. Now that we got those, let's make it a little bigger. Take this guy off. And put on the bigger quarter inch. So we will go ahead and put these small guys into the second fourth hole like so and take our washers and our nut and screw that on nut a washer and nut so with uh, with a nine We'll hold that and we will screw that one in. All right, now that I've got that right where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and Dremel out the plastic using a Dremel. I think that's good. Looks good to me. Took off a little bit of paint, but that's all right. Okay. 
All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to put our bezel back into place and make sure that our two corners, this guy and this guy, line up with the brackets. So this should line up with that and this should line up with that. So let's go ahead and put this right there and start snapping it into place. All right, there we go. So now that that is in there, we'll do a little test. And let's take our two long screws. Let's take our two long screws and just make sure that it goes in to the bracket. So that looks good. And all right, and that one looks good. So let's go ahead and take these out. All right, now that I'm happy with how that looks uh, and know that my two screws go in here perfectly, let's go ahead and take it back off. gently all right and we are now going to install the L bracket on the third hole uh, from the left so one two three and that is going to go right there and is going to be facing the passenger side so let's go ahead and take our bolt and washer stick it through the L bracket and the frame right there and let's take our locking nut and screw that down okay now that that is tightened we can go ahead and mount it back on the dashboard. All right, so now that we've got those in, we need to take out the screws that are in place because we will be using them for the bracket. Now that we've got that, let's go ahead and plug it in, positive to positive. Now that we've got our brackets installed and our, uh, our mount up here wired in, we need to install the little backing that goes behind it that kind of covers up the wires, makes it look a little, a little cleaner. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is we gotta take our bracket and our Pam, and we are going to just set that right there for now. We are going to take this and screw it in. Okay, so now that that is now that those are screwed down somewhat hand tight, we are going to take this end and screw it in to those. 
there, here. Now, not everyone has this. I just wanted to kind of keep the wiring a little clean. I don't like, I hate seeing wiring. I hate wires. So, by installing this little plate, it kind of keeps it a little, a little cleaner on the dashboard. That way, when you're looking from the outside in, you don't see a bunch of wires. Now we will just tighten these up a little bit. Cool. All right. And now we can mount this to our dash. That is the final look. You can see it has a little bit of a gap right here, but it's not, it's not horrible. Considering the rest looks pretty streamlined. I mean, these things are, I bet you if I tweak this just a little bit, I'd be able to, uh, to get it tighter, but I don't know, maybe not. But I'm happy with it, I'm happy with it. All right, so now that we've got that all hooked up, I'm now going to put a ram mount right there. One of these guys and one of these guys, like so. So we got both of our screws there. That is done. That ball head is on there. Put back together. Ball head. And other ball. This on. Let's make sure it's down there. So with that in there, let's see how it does with the phone. Like that. More like that is better. What do you uh, what do you guys think? I think it's I think it's looking really good. Um, I like to be able to have my accessories mounted up here, um, you know, on the ball heads, whatever, and have two USB ports right there. So I think I'll still have my, um, my phone coming from here up, plug that into the bottom of that. Um, that way I can still have my CarPlay and all of that good stuff, but as far as, you know, any devices that I put right here, I can power it through that. Um, speaking of devices, I've got a couple right here that we can take a look at. You got different arms that you can use. So here's one of the longer ones, um, spring loaded, and you know, you're able to attach it like so, put whatever you want on the other end. Then there's some short stubby guys, you know, a couple, couple inches, what, two, three inches. Um, that you can mount on there. So perfect for, uh, I don't know, what would you guys use? I've got a Garmin so I can kind of keep track of where I'm going. Uh, I can record all the trails that I'm going on. I know some apps do that as well. Um, I don't know, maybe I don't need this guy. Maybe I'll, I'll swap it out with my GoPro, but I've got the, uh, the mount, I've got the adapter, so that's kind of nice. Um, if you've got kids, I think the most popular one will probably be the tablet holder. 
this thing is pretty awesome and it mounts in there nice and tight. So if you want to watch movies, shows, whatever, you're good to go. All right guys, so I'm gonna go and wrap up this video. I know it's already long as it is, but if you like this video, please do me a favor, hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos and leave a comment. I'm curious if you think that this is an install video that you could do or if you'd rather have someone else do it. Um, what accessories would you be mounting up here? I've told you what I plan to mount or already have mounted, um, but I'm really curious as to what everyone else would put up there. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you out on the horizon later.